Hello, professionals, RIT, MLT, OT, FBT, all the professionals, including accountants. This is Asok Rizal, and today we are going to talk on the topic, personality development. We all have heard the word personality and development. What exactly is personality development? Personality is the sum total of our character, behavior, manner, belief, faith, intellectuality, our building up, etc. That is what personality means. Once again, what exactly is personality? Personality is the sum total of, as a whole, entirety, totality of our character, behavior, manner, uh, educational level, intellectuality, our conduct, how we behave with other people, and our building up all, including our faith and attitude. Our attitude also is one of the, uh, you know, building blocks, one of the important factors of personality. Personality is the totality of all these. Okay, next question is, what elements shape our personality? What are the factors uh, that shape our personality? The question is, uh, what makes our personality? So these are, there are two factors that are to be mentioned. The first factor is our inherited characters. The gene that we inherit from our parents is one of the most important factors of developing our personality because our height, weight, and then uh, complexion, face color, etc., determines uh, you know, it is determined by the qualities that inherit that we inherit from our ancestors. And other important factor is environment. Envir environment means the social milieu, your home environment or your school environment, your college environment, the books that you read, and then uh, the people you interact with, the uh, friends, the company you associate with, these two factors develop, you know, they are, they shape our personality. They are the very important element which shape our personality. So we talk that inherited characteristics from our parents, one factor, the other factor is environment, environment, home environment, school environment, books, and we all know environment, living and non-living objects around us. That's also one of the, you know, factors. The next thing is that if it is so, can we develop our personality? Yes, we can. There is nothing impossible. According to Napoleon Bonaparte, impossibility is found only in the dictionary of police, right? Okay, then there are certain things that we need to do. What to do? First and foremost thing is that you have to dissociate with the people who have, you know, who are pessimistic. So pessimism, and then the other thing that I want to say is that we have to associate, we have to, uh, we have to be friends with the people who have positive attitude towards life, not the negative attitude. So that's one of the most important uh, thing that we need to remember in our life. If we want to develop our personality, what we need to do is that we need to associate, befriend, live together with the people who have positivity. That's a very important factor. Other thing that you can develop your personality is reading books. We all know that uh, according to Francis Bacon, reading makes a full man writing, uh, you know, conference a ready man and writing an exit man, right? So reading good books, I just would like to name a few books that I have read and I found it, you know, very important for our learners also. I would like to uh, show you, for instance, I have got some books like uh, Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. You can read that. It will, you know, it will give you insight. It will make you, it will motivate you, and then it will bring, it will help you, you know, lead a successful life. Other book that I have here is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. This is also one of the other important books that you can read in your, you know, spare time. 
The other book that you can read is Power of uh, Subconscious Mind. It's also one of the most important books by Dr. Joseph Murphy. It's a very important book you can read if you like, okay? If you want to develop your personality, one of the books has the power to change the life because books have the you know, power to change. That is the reason why we study. The reason behind studying, uh, being educated is why? Because we want to succeed in life and live a very happy life. That's what we just talked. And I have also forgotten to mention one of the most important books that I find it uh, uh, very influential, very interesting one, which has the power to change our life is that How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And the same writer, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living because in life we find we come across difficulties and then ups and downs. So this book talks about it. One of the books that I have mentioned, I have mentioned Think and Grow Rich, and then how to stop worrying and start living and say, uh, you know, seven habits of highly effective people and the books as such. I just wanted to give you uh, the examples. There are many more books that can change your life. So this is what we talk about personality. Please don't forget to read these books. Uh, we will also talk what these writers say, uh, some of the beautiful lines and then we'll try to incorporate it because these are the books that help us develop our personality. So many successful people, they have read these books and they have become successful. So stay tuned. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like, share and subscribe for uh, the, you know, lessons uh, coming with these related to personality development and then soft skills and communication skills as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.